Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm going to go on the record and say that 95% of the applications available for Apple's iPad are going to be drawing related in some capacity. I have been flooded with requests to review drawing related apps. This, however, is one that I was interested in, namely because it was free and available thanks to Adobe. This is Adobe Ideas. I've already sketched out a picture of my dog, but for uh, this demo purposes, I'm actually going to create a new idea, nice and fresh. Uh, I can go in and I can change the size, opacity, and color of said brush. And I've got a full palette of colors. Let's go with black, though. That's pretty standard. Size, let's make it a little smaller there. And I'm going to start sketching. And theoretically, this will work just with my finger. Now, I want you to notice that as I'm drawing, and I don't know if the live video feed is going to be able to capture this, even though my uh, lines are a little rough as I'm gliding my uh, finger across the screen, uh, the application goes in and it smooths out the rough spots. That's something that uh, is uh, quite unique, at least in terms of uh, what I've seen in other sketching or drawing apps currently available in the iTunes App Store specifically for the iPad and certainly for uh, the uh, the iPhone. So I happen to like that particular feature. Not perfect, but it does work. Now granted, uh, I am not an artist and if you were one then you'd probably have a, a better time of this whole, oh boy my hair is going wild there. You know I don't like that, I'm going to undo Okay, let's try my hair again. Okay, let's pinch it out again. You see what I'm doing here? It's really easy to use. There's one ear, there's the other ear. Boy, I need to drop a few pounds. Let me try, <laughs> let me try my chin again. There we go, much nicer. Oh, no, kind of fouled it up there. Boy, I'm still not liking that chin. <sighs> Good enough. Give it a neck here. And we can go in and change the color for a t-shirt. I like red. Let's change the size. A little thicker. More like thicker. Oh, I forgot something. Got to change my uh, my glasses there. I, I don't have uh, the connection to the ears. Of course, let me expect that in. There's the earlobe. Now look, see those lines? How they're all rough and tumble, like very very sharp. Adobe will go in and will automatically smooth those lines. That's not something that I've found in uh, other iPad apps, specifically apps like this. So it's kind of fun. And, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could, uh, you know, move it over here. I can write in, uh, you know, a sketch or notes over here, like make hair more brown, blah, blah, blah. Spend more time writing over here. It's, it's simply a sketching app. And why pay for something that is available for free? That's my question. If I wanted to, I can go back into uh, the, uh, the home screen and uh, I could see it automatically save there. Although the orientation, for some reason, likes to save however it wants to save. Eh, what do you expect for version 1.0? You can also import photos specifically from your uh, uh, library, and uh, that's you know relatively easy to do. Not bad for uh, for free uh, for mockups or sketches. You're more than welcome to to give it a shot right now. It's Adobe Ideas available right now in the iTunes App Store. Uh, you can uh, get it right now, hence it being available. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know of any other apps uh, for the iPad that you'd like me to take a look at. Maybe something you've developed. Hopefully not another drawing app. You're also uh, welcome uh, to uh, join us in our community of tech enthusiasts. And uh, that, of course, is uh, at geeks.perillo.com. 
And we also have my blog, chris.perillo.com. I'm on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrisperillo. Have a uh, Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash chrisperillo. And uh, a video feed that is uh, probably uh, something that uh, some of you are at least using right now, considering we're streaming this review live. And uh, that happens to be going out over the web 24 hours a day seven days a week where we're typically talking tech and that's at live.perillo.com we'll see you later